Well, we finally know how private our conversations with AI are. Turns out they're not private at all. We'll also talk about how to manage your privacy a little better. AI may seem intelligent, but those answers are reviewed by people. In the beginning, Google mostly hired people who were specialists, like physicists, to answer physics questions, but that got a little bit expensive, and so many people are using AI that it just didn't work. So now thousands of just random people are hired to rank conversations with Google. Google recently had the issue, as well as OpenAI did too, that conversations were available for search online. This happened unless you had the little drop down menu which said do not share conversations, and of course do not use them for training. Of course, even if you don't use them for training to improve the model, they'll probably still be reviewed. A person is not sitting there in real time answering, I will tell you that, as far as we know anyway. But someone is having to go in there and click, this is a better response. You may see that in OpenAI, you get a little screen saying, which response do you prefer? Evidently, that is entirely handled by real people, or Google. So you are doing the job that other people are being paid for, although not paid very well. As far as we know, at least for OpenAI, the reason that they sometimes shut down conversations is when they see a trend where it's generally moving in a bad direction, and that's handled by statistics. If these topics come up, if these responses are given, on average, this is going in a bad direction. So that's why they say, I'm sorry, I can't answer that. If you want to protect your privacy, and at least mostly make sure that a person is not going to be reviewing all of your conversations, just say that you do not want it to be shared to improve the model. That, as far as I've seen, is normally on. And if you really want privacy, you're going to want to have your own LOM on your tower computer at home. It does require a lot of power, though. I've, I've done it with several different models. You may be interested to know that AI is threatening power grids. Who would have thought this would happen? Our current power grids in the US are not built exceptionally well. That is especially true for places like Texas and places where AI is moving to for the lax laws and regulations. And you know, taxes. These are extraordinarily hungry machines and many have been trying to get their own nuclear power plants. For those that would purchase their own power plants, they would also be providing power to surrounding areas in addition to the AI service centers, which isn't the worst situation. One big question is what happens during an emergency? Many have proposed that AI service centers would be a lower priority versus people in their homes if something like a snowstorm came through, like the one that was seen in Texas. The fact that that is not already the rule actually really bothers me. Power grids are also a concern for the service centers themselves, which is why they're considering having their own backup generators. So if there is an emergency, they will have power even if everyone else doesn't. Which I guess to them makes sense because they serve more than just that area. So why wouldn't they want to have backup generators to protect their business. One of the other issues with these centers is they also use an awful lot of water, and water is a critical issue everywhere around the world for every person who lives inland, and even those who live along the ocean because you can't drink ocean water. But I do have some good news. California is testing out a new kind of desalinization, which requires 40% less power than current methods, which is substantial. This will tap water directly from the ocean, and they're planning on making a distribution system, so much like the power grid, they can have a water grid. This could finally solve the issue with Las Vegas, an inland super city built on fossil water. If you're not familiar with the entire issue around water, 30% of the entire world's population lives on the coast, and largely in areas with mountains. Those mountains will provide water as snow melts. A lot of our agriculture, however, is based on fossil water, a non-renewable resource in which water enters the Earth's crust and then we pull it up to water stuff like plants. You know, the food that we eat. When that water runs out, there is no backup, so improving desalinization is a major step forward, and I actually am excited for this. AIs also need cooling, just like how we end up cooling nuclear power. Fresh water, and salt water too, can be used to continuously cool cores. That does not require it be drinkable, clearly, but it is a concern when water is being used by one service and it may not be provided to another, when people actually need to drink and people need to water their crops. I will say there's a little misconception about using water when they say a single prompt uses a gallon of water. Water is renewable, just not when it comes from the Earth's crust. Using water to cool something like a reactor core is not actually using it to the point where it won't be able to be reused, but it does require cool water to flow over it after. These are very real issues, and I'm actually truly excited to see some solutions.